a man walks into this South Florida jewelry store just like any other customer. But it looks like Mother Nature had other plants, but the driver responsible for it all under arrest. Well, that's all she wrote. The preseason is over, and when the Finns return to Sunlight Stadium, well, the games will count. Now, as the players do head home for a little r and &R, the coaching staff will be working hard to try to cut the roster to 53 guys. Now, the players who don't necessarily make the team may be asked to come back under the practice squad. But for those who aren't, well, they'll be playing the waiting game. They'll wait for a call from another NFL team. At Sunlight Stadium, I'm Patrick Chalvier, 7 Sports. Miami Beach officials proposed an ordinance today that stated that people caught with 20 grams of marijuana would be cited a citation as long as that use is for personal use. South Beach is the place to be as thousands of residents and tourists alike will be coming down to celebrate Memorial Day weekend. Now, officials want everybody to have fun, but they also want them to be safe. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend is back, which means thousands will be flocking to South Beach to party. Memorial Day weekend and my birthday. Yay! With the addition of party goers comes the addition of law enforcement. Barricades were in place and a command center already prepped and ready to go at the Miami Beach Convention Center. We're approximately 500 officers working this week, and that's a combination of Miami Beach police officers as well as several other agencies who's, who have agreed to assist us. But officials said they aren't trying to stop the fun. They simply just want to make sure everyone has a safe and enjoyable time. To meet great people, just to have fun, just to see what it's all about. Now, reasons vary why some people chose to spend their weekend in the Magic City, whether it be a first-time experience, the rather large festivities, or even a famous 90s song. Yeah, 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 uh, Miami, uh, uh, South Beach, bringing the heat. Hearing Will Smith's song in 1998, Welcome to Miami, like always, instilled in me that I need to be here. So whether it be for the lights, the food, or even the drinks, everyone will be out and hoping for a great weekend. On South Beach, I'm Patrick Chalvier, 7 News. David Beckham may not be bringing a soccer team to Miami anytime soon, but a big game will be played as FIU's football field will be transformed to host two of South America's biggest soccer teams. Florida International University was the backdrop for a press conference by Onside Entertainment to announce the annual Copa Campeones de America Championship between Argentina's San Lorenzo and Colombia's Atletico Nacional. We thought it would be a great idea to bring high quality South American soccer to a place where people love soccer. Along with the announcement came the arrival of former Brazil legend Ronaldo. Ronaldo announced he is now part owner of the Fort Lauderdale Strikers, South Florida's only professional soccer team. I'm very glad to be part of this project, and it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge, and uh, we will do well. South Florida has a strong love and support for the game of soccer. Even one of the biggest names, David Beckham, couldn't resist. His plans to bring Major League Soccer to the Magic City are still in their way as his plans to house a stadium on waterfront property at Port Miami were shut down, though there are reports that a Miami-based soccer team will officially be announced in the spring. Before Beckham finalizes any deals, soccer fans will have plenty to cheer for. <laughs> at FIU, I'm Patrick Chalvier, 7 News. What was intended to be an open forum for Miami Gardens residents to speak their minds and concerns turned into chaos at City Hall as family members were looking for answers to the death of a loved one at the hands of police. And the mayor? Avoiding it all. Chaos ensued as family members of 25-year-old Laval Hall demanded answers for their loved one's death. Yes, the truth. Mayor, are you running? Why are you running? I asked you, do you justify your officer within the right? After dash cam video of Hall's death during a police-involved shooting was released, Catherine Daniels, Hall's mother, was looking for Miami Gardens Mayor Oliver Gilbert to speak out. However, what occurred was quite the opposite. Mayor. You acknowledge I was in here and you ran. He don't want to answer now. He, he acknowledged I was in here. I showed him the he paper. Might. He acknowledged it. The door was closed. He closed the door when I was coming in to make a comment. You understand? So I said, I'll come in anyway. The mail ran. You saw it. He ran. Yeah, we would have we would have liked to have some answers. Who does he stand with? Does he stand with the officer? He, he's now had an opportunity to see the video. Or does he stand with his family? He doesn't stand with the people of his community. As Gilbert avoided the media and entered an elevator to go up to his office, a 7 News crew and other reporters attempted to follow him and ask for an interview. However, police asked all the media to get out of the elevator. Hall's family said they are just looking for answers as to why the 25-year-old, who was reportedly holding a broom with a metal tip, was shot and killed. What did you want to hear? What did you want to see from him? I want the truth. Did he stand by his officer or he stand by his community? That's what I 
take care of wow. what he, who he stayed by. Despite being shut out by the mayor, the family said they will continue to fight for answers until justice we'll has be been back. served. Every, every meeting he got, we will be back. The mayor later addressed the media and said the family were late to turn in their request to speak. That there's a certain part, part in the, the meeting that actually you allowed to have make, make public comment. And everyone waited outside until that part was completely gone. So it, it was at that point we would need a motion to actually reopen public comment. There was no motion. Miami Gardens police declined to comment on the video because this remains an active, ongoing investigation. In Miami Gardens, I'm Patrick Chalvier, 7 News.